Mr. Ganeshan is uh, the global university lead for all IBM related activities. And uh, his focus is mostly, as you know, AI and machine learning kind of thing. And a lot of focus on that. And uh, he's going to explain to them both their open Power PC 9 architecture as well as uh, the applications of AI in healthcare. Uh, the Power architecture and the Power PC has been there uh, you know, for uh, you know, three, four decades. And you know, uh, we took the Power uh, you know, the PC architecture and we built a, a risk based system. Uh, nearly like 25 years ago, uh, you know, and uh, started serving many uh, the top end customers, the enterprise customers. Nearly like you know, 1,800 customers in the world have been using uh, the power based uh, the systems for their all kinds of you know, the operational activities, the day to day operational activities, from city back to the Walmart kind of companies. I'm talking even locally. There are companies, I mean, there are banks and uh, there are, you know, the enterprise customers do use power systems. So, this has been there, you know, for the industry-wide, you know, uh, ecosystem and, you know, and we have been successful on that for the last 25 plus years. And lately, around 2013, um, you know, IBM wanted to, uh, you know, show a, you know, difference, you know, in their market, you know, not just the enterprise, but out of, out of enterprise, you know, we are, because we were, you know, very close to enterprise, but uh, on the open source market and, you know, in the, in the open market, uh, and also the social uh, network and, you know, the social system, you know, working, right? you know a lot of uh, the social uh, things were ha happening. So, uh, we wanted to, like, you know, uh, create a foundation called, you know, um, we wanted to create a foundation uh, through which we can connect, you know, uh, the world leaders to basically address the you know the architecture innovations you know because uh, you, you can't do a lot of innovation if your system is proprietary or within the uh, you know the barrier you know if you work on so you need to open up you know the country uh, the, the complete system so we decided you know to open up our uh, you know the entire you know the power uh, the based the full stack you know the full stack I mean uh, from the uh, you know systems uh, developing chip and to the application the entire stack we opened up and uh, and you know as part of you know the consortium and one of the key leaders in the industry also joined us uh, you know the google uh, and uh, and also there are other companies like nvidia Mellanox, and uh, uh, companies like red hat and all you know further you know joined as part of the ecosystem so in 2013 we we had only uh, you know I would say like you know five to ten members, but as we speak today, like you know we got we, we got around like three hundred and thirty plus members as part of this ecosystem. You know, from the you know the chip level to the application, and there are a lot of architecture innovations happen as part of the system. I was with one of the top uh, ten um, startup companies in India like you know, yesterday, and uh, uh, you know I, it was a pleasant opportunity also to talk to. One of the G, you know senior guy there, you know, like he, he, he was actually employed there, you know, in 2010 as a sixth employee, the company called PTM. So you guys definitely do know about PTM and you know and use for you know uh, digital transfer, right? So uh, he was taking, he was talking about you know how the company evolved and you know what is the uh, current and future directions and all, all about you know the AI. It's it's all like you know. All the digital things, whatever they are doing right now, they want to uh, take it to the next level and applying AI, how they can, you know, make it better for the customer. You know, because the customer means here, consumer they are talking about. There are nearly like 300 million people using Paytm today, as we speak. Think about it, you know, every minute, every second, you know, uh, the, they have to do the transaction on their server. Power9 is the latest, uh, you know, the processor and the system from us. From us, in the sense IBM, and also like you know, there are a lot of openness you know involved in that, and because of that, we could build a world largest supercomputer, and uh, we have uh, ours is the number one and number three supercomputers running in one running in Oak Ridge National Lab, which is in Tennessee, and the other one running in Bay Area, which is uh, which is actually part of Lawrence Livermore Lab. So two supercomputers right now dominating the world with the power line, and also the openness you know uh, by nature. So one of our customers in uh, China, 
you know, they implemented a, something called unmanned shopping center. You know, when you go to a shopping center, usually you see some staff, you know, explaining you about the cloth and, uh, you know, checking you out, you know, with the uh, receipt and all the stuff, right? For that shopping center, whatever we are talking about here, in China, in Shanghai, you, there is no man there. Just you need to go there with an app, get your stuff and come back. And the app will take care of everything. And that kind of, you know, uh, shopping center you know, built using, you know, the AI technology. And some of our systems also running, helping them you know, do that. It's called, the company name is called Tencent. How many of you know the top three uh, China, the e-commerce company, uh, going to really, you know, uh, create a big impact in the world? It's called BAT, B-A-T. So it's BAT. Huh? BAT. A for Alibaba, very good. Yeah, Sarah already told Alibaba is going to uh, give a, a contest actually. That's good actually. Maybe I want to talk about my uh, uh, the hackathons also, but anyway, yeah, B and T. Okay, cool. What about B? Baidu. Okay, I think this guy is uh, really after. So these three companies really, really doing a lot of things. They are not copying anymore. We all say that China, you know, copies, you know, some of the technology. No, they are not copying. They are actually uh, right now cool and you know they are developing very good you know things from the bottom and you know and uh, and those are all like you know really you know going to impact create a good uh, impact in the world. So think about you know developing a shopping center you know in your campus too a small space under square but you know you can have a project like that. It's possible. There are a lot of documentation available on the internet. All it's all you know connecting the dots. IoT devices. And the data storage and processing and then you know taking actions using applying some algorithms right uh, differently there are algorithms we need to write there are a lot of algorithms are available as open source which you can use them also to develop this kind of shopping center so if you have any idea about it let me know i have a customer in india who wants to develop a center like this in south india but uh, the thing is now you know i need uh, you know students also to help me out on that it's not just me, you know, go and you know, sit down and program and all this stuff. So if you want to develop something, if you have a proposal in place, let me know. Uh, that's kind of opportunity, you know, you get to. This what your people. I explained about the multiple industries, right? So if I ask, you know, the mechanical engineering to want to go and code about, you know, the algorithm and all this stuff, I don't think they will do that. But we will be interested to learn about this power generation and start inputting all the data into that and then, you know, So it will be easy for non-computer science people also. Like, you know, that's why you know we are provided, providing they are providing tools, you know, to make them to you know uh, get start using you know the, uh, the AI technology. So we, we, it is you know it is it is all good you know to learn about you know all the things available so that you can answer the questions you know even if you become an IT architect for an organization after one year two years you can you know. You know, give a solution, you know, based on, you know, facts. You don't need to teach, you know, see, for example, uh, if there is a person, you know, who, who's, who got a lot of skills in, you know, genomics, and, you know, he may not be interested to learn, uh, learn to code, you know, Python and other stuff. So, what, 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 what he can do is, actually, he can apply all those genomics, you know, the images and everything into the power edition and produce, you know, some reasonable, you know, uh, outcome. And that's, that's how, you know, we want to basically uh, help out, you know, all the industries. And we, in a sense, you know, it's not that you're going to be the, uh, you know, the IT architect or, you know, the IT infrastructure lead for the companies. And certainly, uh, we could be the one, you know, who can, you know, take these solutions that, you know, 